everybody welcome to my youtube channel in this channel i will be uploading a lot of cool machine learning and deep learning videos so please subscribe and stay updated in this tutorial i am going to be teaching you how to perform document classification using latent semantic analysis so this is just a brief tutorial for you to give a head start on document classification let's get started here i'm just creating five docs doc1 to doc5 and i'm combining all these documents in document complete so our goal is to classify all the documents into groups if you have a look you can classify these five documents into two categories one category would be like data science algorithms programming and stuff like that and other category would be like family help money so let's see how we can do it using lsa so let's see the first that we have to combine all these documents and store it the next step we want to have a vector representation of all these documents so there are many methods of creating vector representations like word to vec doc to vec etc in this tutorial we will we are going to be using a very simple vector representation of the word which is tf idf vectorizer which is nothing but numerical statistic which shows us <coughs> some quantitative measure of how important the word is to the document we can just use your tf idf from sklearn and we can create vectorizer vectorizer and we can feed our document so the vector has been created here next step would be to perform lsa lsa is also known as truncated svd which is truncated singular value decomposition which is nothing but dimensionally uh, dimensionally dimensionality reduction technique so i've just imported truncated svd from sklearn and here we have to specify number of components which is nothing but a number of topics in which you want to classify your documents and we have to extract uh, from uh, the document and iter is the number of iterations that you want to perform we can just feed our data text into lsa once we do that we can just get back all features names we can print our component that is all our terms so if you look at it then you can see that we have two uh, concepts one contains words like dat data computer science algorithm java etc and other contains words like work family kids etc so this is how we do it this is just a basic tutorial for you to understand how lsa is working in reality it would be like one document contains 100 lines so you want to combine all files and you want to do first text processing and all and even want if you want to use some good document classifiers like word to vec okay and then you can apply lsa on this so the code for this tutorial is available on my github account and a lot of cool and amazing code tutorials are coming up as a part of this lecture series so please subscribe and stay updated